Hello everybody, welcome to veenaskitchen.com I am Veena and today I will show you how to bake a banana muffin Since Christmas is around, I have decided to bake or do some baking for the Christmas season To begin making our banana muffin, initially we need to preheat the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes When our oven is getting preheated, we will go ahead and grease the muffin tin. Uh, here I have a muffin tray. Uh, mine is a non-stick um, uh, muffin tray, so I will not be greasing it. If you do not have a uh, non-stick muffin tray, uh, you can uh, you can use the muffin paper cups that that we get in the market. So we need to line this muffin uh, muffin paper cups in the muffin tray on each of the each of the cups of the tray. Wow, it's a really a very nice climate here. It's 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 like raining outside, and I'm loving it. Well, uh, to begin making our banana muffin, uh, we will first sift the flour. That is, we will sift the whole wheat flour and the all-purpose flour, and we will add some baking powder in it, and then sift them together. In a bowl, sift half cup of whole wheat flour. Half cup of all purpose flour, three four teaspoon of baking powder, teaspoon and one four teaspoon makes three four teaspoon of baking powder. Sift it. Throw away the residue. Mix it well. Mix well the dry ingredients. Let us now keep it aside. After sifting the flour, we will go ahead and beat an egg. We will beat the egg till it becomes nice and fluffy. Beat an egg till it becomes fluffy. Alright, now our egg has uh, beaten well and nice. Um, it has become nice and fluffy. Let us now keep it aside. In a microwave safe dish, add one third cup of butter, one third cup of milk, after adding the butter and milk, we will microwave it for two minutes in the microwave. Since it is a banana muffin, we will be adding banana in it. We will take one uh, ripe banana and mash it well. Take one small ripe banana. With the help of a fork, we will mash it. Mash it well and nice to make it a very nice mashed banana puree. I have here a very nice mashed banana. I will keep this aside. Alright, it's been now 2 minutes. Let us take out our milk and butter from the microwave. The butter has melted very well. 
Now into it we will be adding some vanilla essence and powdered sugar and then we will add the beaten egg and flour and mix it well. The butter has now completely melted. Into it add 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence. 3 fourths cup of powdered sugar. Banana puree. And beat till it becomes nice creamy in consistency. After beating it well and nice, we get a very nice creamy consistency. This is how it should look like. I have been beating it for about 5 to 10 minutes. That's when you need to stop when you get a very nice creamy consistency. Into the mixture add the beaten egg. Add the flour. This is the flour. Fold in gently like this. After adding the flour, do not over mix the batter. Uh, it is better just to fold in the batter and uh, once we get a lumpy batter, we need to stop it there. Keep folding it and you will get a very nice lumpy batter of the soft dropping consistency like this. Do not over mix it. Once the batter is formed, we need to stop it here. After folding in the flour, our muffin mix is now ready. Let us go ahead and pour it in our muffin tray. So here I have my muffin tray and I will be using a spoon to fill in this muffin tray. Take a scoop of the batter and fill in half cup of the muffin tray. We, we do not need to fill in the whole cup of the muffin. Uh, it is because once it starts to bake, the muffin will erase automatically and it will fill the cup. So we just need to fill in half the cup of the muffin tray. Alright, now our tray is uh, set and it's ready to go into the oven for the baking. Let us now go ahead and bake it at 180 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes in a preheated oven. Alright, it's now 25 minutes and our muffin is ready. Let us go ahead and check it. Wow! The muffin has rice and it has cooked very well. There, our muffin has cooked well and nice. You can see that it has a rice. The cup of the muffin was half filled with the batter, but once it got cooked, it has completely riced like this. We need to check if it is cooked from the inside. For that, we need to prick it with a fork or a toothpick. And if the toothpick comes out clean, that means the uh, inside of the muffin is also cooked well and nice. We need to check it with the toothpick. For that, just insert the toothpick 
Yes, it has come out completely clean. That means it has cooked from the inside as well. We will allow it to cool a bit before taking it out. Once it cools down, we will take it with a spoon. It, it comes out very easily because it is a non-stick You can see that it has cooked very well. It has become nice muffin. Well, our muffin has come out so well. I'm so happy about it. Um, it has come out very nice and has, it smells delicious as well. The banana muffin is now ready. Let us take it out into a serving dish. There you go, delicious banana muffin is now ready to be served. Well friends, now that Christmas is around, I have started to bake cakes and muffins. You please to give it a try, uh, baking is a lot of fun, especially when the dish turns out very well. Uh, it gives a very nice encouragement uh, for you to bake the next time as well. Um, I hope you will enjoy this Christmas with the cakes and the muffins that I make. And please do post in your comments and feedbacks on, on the recipe that I created. Also, you try out this recipe. Please do let me know how it came out. Did it came out well? What was your experience while baking? Did you enjoy baking? Um, and everything or anything that you would like to share with us. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please do post in your comments and feedbacks on the comment box below. Also do check out my website www.venuskitchen.com for more recipes. Thank you so much for watching venuskitchen.com. Happy cooking and Merry Christmas.